When Wawa Jackson went to his village, Tabinken, he never realized his program could be interrupted. Wawa had just published an article he titled Embezzlement at the Tabinken Palace Project on his Facebook page. The Facebook article attracted many comments from its readers, comments which were uncomfortable to those involved and their supporters. He was then picked up by gendarmes in Kambe and tortured for three days. Wawa believes he was being monitored. Well, it uh, started on the 15th of May 2018. A few minutes after my arrival in Kambe town, I was rounded by gendarm, uh, gendarmerie officers and the only thing I heard from them was say lui after looking at my ID card and I was asked to be taken away. I was arrested without a warrant and it was also accompanied with beatings Beatings. I was uh, beaten throughout these three days. Wawa was then charged for publishing secessionist messages and threatening the life of a politician. He was sent to court as he pleaded not guilty. I told them my job is to write and disseminate information and I don't mean any harm to anybody. So if anybody sees my write-ups or my criticism as uh, something meant to harm anybody, then the person is mistaken. His case, just like those of other journalists facing trials in courts in Cameroon, suffered a bail application rejection on grounds that he committed a felony. It also suffered several adjournments. As his trial went on in Kambe, his charge of trade of life disappeared. During this period, the national and international committee was mobilized with messages calling for his release. Also, he was contacted to write an apology that would see his release hastened. Wawa tells Equinox Television in Bamenda that the prison walls already taught him how to be resilient. Prison is not something to dream of, but when you find yourself inside, you just need to devise a way of surviving in the dungeon. Today, journalists around the world are commemorating the World Press Freedom Day, reflecting on the theme, Information as a Public Good. In Cameroon, journalists have been jailed for publishing information they considered relevant to the population. The situation is worsened by the current sociopolitical and security crisis in the northwest and southwest regions of the country. Since the escalation of the crisis in Anglophone Cameroon, journalists in the northwest region have been targeted. They have either been kidnapped or threatened by non state armed groups or arrested by the state. Media houses have also been burned down by these armed groups and some others sealed by the government. Despite these challenges that are forcing the journalists to survive otherwise, journalism must continue while we seas. If a journalist points out that there is a problem, I think it is the position of those who govern to look at what the problem is and not attacking journalists because journalism will never stop. Journalists have died on duty and nobody is backing out because of that. Not even imprisonment can scare journalists from uh, practicing their profession with dignity. In their 2020 report, Reporters Without Borders ranked Cameroon 134th out of 180 countries in the World Press Freedom Index. This raises worries like, is journalism a dangerous profession, especially in Cameroon?